Oh god, the colors, why? <laughs> why would you do this, Infill Cranes? Anyways... Humongous Entertainment presents... Moonbase Commander. So yeah. Hey all, Rise55 here, welcoming you to Let's Play... Uh, to um... Commander. Yeah, what C said. But yes, Moonbase Commander. This is a pretty neat game that, for those of you who've been paying attention uh, on my channel here, um, may note that I've already done a Let's Play on this game. However, I have a couple reasons for uh, redoing it here. Um, the first one being, oh god, what were those videos I was making back then? Um, yeah, I find them terrible myself now. Um, and the second reason being, the first video for the original LP of this is the second most viewed video on my channel. Um, yeah, at about like 4,000 views. The first one currently being my Series M3 speedrun. Um, but yeah, that combined with the first fact being that that's pretty much a terrible first impression for like 4,000 people. Yeah, um,. So yeah, we'll be doing this for the sake of not being terrible at everything. Anyways, yeah, let us get started with this. Here we have the main menu. First thing we see here is multiplayer, which has never worked for me since I got my new computer. Sigh. Um, single player, which we'll get to in a few seconds here. The map editor, what's this? You can make maps with it. Turns out, yeah, you have the options menu, which we'll look at for like one second. This is the longest one second you've ever seen. Here we have her name and stuff. Because that is my alias here. Uh, replay here to where you can save your replays. And yeah. Anyways, for single player, you can either do a skirmish, or for what we'll be doing for this uh, Let's Play here, the Talons mode. For skirmish, you just kind of like put together a random match and you beat up some bots. Once they're really too threatening. Well, at least after you've played the game for a while. But yes, let us get started on the challenge mode. Challenge mode. The three pools. Welcome to Nysco. Hi. Relax and have a pleasant campaign. Okay. But do not fail. Commander, our energy is running low. Oh no. There are three energy pools on this planet. You must find each pool and place an energy collector on it as fast as you can. Okay. So yeah, we'll be we'll be doing this. Uh, it's kind of a note. I just kind of noticed right there that what C said there was actually slightly different from what C said the first time. Unless like it's from not having started up a new. I don't even know anymore. I tried this before and then I decided to restart again. Um, yes. But anyways, yes. Let us start the first mission here. The three pools. Move, so yeah, here is the game. It's kind of a, kind of a, I think it's like a very unique um, kind of strategy game here. Um, the main thing about it is that, like your main method of like building and stuff is to basically launch buildings at stuff. Good shot, Commander. You have placed the collector directly on the energy pool. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that is your main method of like movement and building. Uh, you can also launch like things like like missiles and EMPs and bomb stuff. I'll explain most of this stuff later um, when it mostly command. comes relevant. Um, Ooh, but for the time being, we just place an energy pool. What collects energy from energy pools? Uh, if you place an energy collector not on an energy pool, you'll you won't get as much energy from it. You will only get like one as to when it's on an energy pool. You'll get three because yeah, normally you get seven per turn, but we're getting ten because we have an energy on there. So yeah, um, just trying to think here. We're gonna fire this here because we want there and there. Your turn, Anyways, here is a hub, which is our main method of launching other buildings, at buildings. Uh, let's see if we can set this in here. Yeah, you have to do a lot of 
you got you kind of have to get a feel for like how far things fire when you um when playing this game. Like I think I can get there. It's just a bit over half. Yeah. Okay. You kind of have to get a feel for how far things launch. Yay, maximum energy. Man, kind of sucks to here. Hold on. All right. So our next thing is we have to get over at over this water to get to the energy pool over there. Well, for that we have to use a bridge, cause well, bridges, you know, bridge gaps. Um, I'm gonna flub this hilariously, by the way. Um, go almost max energy. Sorry. I thought he was going to say find your center, because that's one of the things you can say. Alright, mostly full energy. There we go. Well, there goes my gold rank. Um, yeah. I'm not aiming for any particular rank for this. Um, whatever rank I get is the rank I get. So, I'm probably not going to be consistent at all. Uh, and I can just throw the last energy over there. I haven't practiced these at all, by the way, so, yeah. Hilarity will ensue. Because I did play this like two years ago. <laughs> Don't miss! Crud. Well. Did like give you bronze rank at this point? So, anyways, that was a reclaim. What you can use to get rid of buildings of your own. Uh, you can also fire them at enemy units, but you'll only do a maximum of three damage to them. Alright. Okay, let's not completely fail at this game now. Oh god, why? Ah. Okay, suddenly I'm sucking. Um, please excuse this. Give me about half a second here. Okay, let's try that again, um, without, like, flubbing this hilariously again. Um, yeah, while I said I'm not aiming for any particular rank, I'm not getting a bronze on missing one. Thank you and good night. Your turn. This is happening, isn't it? This is gonna happen, and this is gonna be how this Let's Play is gonna go now, isn't Your this? Turn. Alright. Well, that way, and one more power than that. Or two. There we go, holy crap. I'll take my silver, thank you very much. Yay. Meh. Accuracy 100%. Um, sir, why not? I guess I'll take that. Do I even want to save the reply? No, how does not save the replay? Has two energy pools. Yay! One close to your hub. Yay. Find the other energy pool and tap into it. Be careful, Commander. The wolf is also on planet. The Their barbaric ways are so uncivilized. The wolf is on the prowl. So, anyways, so yeah, next mission here: barbarian at the gate. Destroy the Dewolf hub if necessary. Although it's not actually required, because nice code doesn't actually care or something. So anyways, our objective here is to get both the energy pool, and hey, here we go. That is a do wolf, who we'll, we will have to take care of at some point, or not. So anyways, um... Thank you. What's you gonna do? You're gonna... be hilarious. Well, at least I feel better about myself. Alright, um... Well, since this isn't a multiplayer game, or a skirmish, I'm just gonna skip my turn instead of setting down... Um, 500,000 anti-errors. Um, yes. If anyone has seen me play multiplayer, you will know this behavior of mine. Um... But, yeah, at this moment in time... We're gunning for that giant pool over there. So we have two ways we can go. We can either go this way, or we can go this way. I'm actually not sure what's way is better. By the way, yes, the map loops around. 
Um, I just think this way is a little closer. Yeah, because they don't have to go around the map. I'll just say that's faster. Also, there is not a timer. However, she will consistently remind me that I have turn. Uh, this will take, yeah, definitely a bit more. Your turn. Okay, please don't murder me. Round over. Your turn, Commander. All right. So they set down an anti-air. The thing to note about anti-air is that they shoot down anything in the air. Uh, and considering the fact that everything you throw goes in the air, yeah, those are pretty potent. So you'll either want to disable them by, like, firing something near it, or, yeah, like, you can fire, say, like, a cluster bomb or a bomb at it, and it'll, like, fire at it, and then it'll be disabled for a turn. And I think it fires at, it'll be disabed for that after turn. But anyways, uh, heck with you to wolf. If I miss this, I will, like, quit the game immediately. So yeah, up yours, you wolf, we're stealing your energy pool. Good job, Commander. Yay, you gold! this level with the top rating. <laughs> so anyways, um, so yeah, that is, oh, I know I got 100 accuracy on the first missing, because I used Reclaim, right. If you don't actually fire anything, you don't actually get that rating. Anyways, you know, I'm just not even going to bother saving the replays for this. Oh, hi. But DeWolf Industrial has gotten there first. How dare Remember they? this nuisance from the planet and claim it as our own. Nuisance. No, anyways. Um, but yeah, our objective here is to DeWolf aside. DeWolf, you see. So yeah, let us go beat up DeWolf because heck with him. Alright, where's our energy pool? There it is. They will provide one nearby. Uh, let's see. Can I not miss this? Close. Close to not hitting it. Alright. Alright, so, let's wait for you to do your turn. Your turn, Commander. He's advancing towards us. And yeah. I noticed something about like I noticed like for the HUD thing for like Nice Co is like all lowercase letters, and I'm not sure why. Uh there are different HUDs for all the character for all the um Characters? Factions? What are they? I don't know. But yeah, there is a different one for each one, which we'll be seeing when we get to, like, everyone else. So yeah. Alright, though. So, have to destroy Duolf here. Which we will... We'll do in a little bit here. Wow, well, you're, you're expanding out here. You're not getting that energy, are you? Okay. Um, I'm gonna do a similar tactic and wait. If you, uh, wait, if you can skip your turn, you will keep the energy you, um, <coughs> didn't spend the previous turn. You can have up to a maximum of 35 energy at any time. So, yeah, um, well, we can do a lot of things to you. Clearly, fire a virus at you. Um, let's not, let's not do that. Hmm. I'm gonna go and... Fire off of that way. And then hope they aren't intelligent. Are you not intelligent? Oh, well, you're advancing towards me. Well, um... What is the best way to take care of this? Let's spike. Let's use a spike. Spike's kinda neat. You know how everything's connected by cords? This thing takes advantage of that. And fires down the cord at the next building. You may also notice that um, all the cords, the lights head towards one point. The point they head towards is the central hub. If that gets destroyed, the entire base collapses. So you want to protect your central hub. What's they're actually kind of doing? This is kind of perturbing. Um, wait, how many energy do they have? Uh, did they fire that last turn? Or this turn? Ah, I don't remember. Alright. So, either we do that. You know what, let's see the cluster bomb. Cluster bomb! It is a cluster of bombs. Also useful for baiting anti-air. Ow. 
Turk. I'm fine. Not destroying me on my watts. Ah! That way sad. Oh, whatever. Since I've done another round tire here. Your turn, Commander. Ooh. They're out of energy. I can I can do mean things to their base. This is kind of a fun note. The cluster bomb can be hit before it's split, and that kind of wastes it entirely. So you kind of don't want that. Uh, I don't think I can throw a bomb that far. I could try. Let's see. Yeah, no, that's not making that. Oh, uh, spiking it. You can hit on the cord or like any like main building, so I'm just gonna aim for the cord and not hit it. Round ah. Yeah, I was thinking I should move a little over. Your turn. Not on my watch, mister. Let's see, is that this here? There we go. And the AI is super smart when it comes to, um, anti-airs. Yes. Especially since, uh, this AI is, like, the weakest AI. Alright. You know what I can do? I'm gonna blow the ever-loving set out of you. I think that will hit. I am here. If this hits the cord, you're boned. This is a crawler, by the way. It goes boom. I said... Well, it goes boom anyways. <laughs> but yeah, the crawler is the strongest weapon you have, really. It explodes... like that. Yay. I guess one thing I said explain about 20 accuracy. Like, the crawler is that... The AI is kind of not so bright around it. It'll do whatever it can to try and destroy it to make sure it doesn't do any damage to them. Or not, because in that case it completely miss them and would not even like affect them in the slightest. Commander, your mission is to locate and destroy the Wolf Industrial. You have limited visibility, so you will need to send out spy balloons or towers to increase your field of view. Apparently now we, like, completely hate DeWolf. Like, before we were like, well, they're there, let's just set energy. Now we're like, destroy all DeWolf. So anyways, Fog of War. This will introduce, this will introduce an element. Oh god, the entire map is covered in black. Yes, this is, this is Fog of War. So, to fight the Fog of War, we can either use a tower, which I will never really ever use. A tower is essentially like it'll cover it'll uncover a certain area, but I prefer to use balloons because they're up in the air and they really are at no real threat of being destroyed ever. Um, however, I'm gonna go grab that energy before the end of my turn here. Uh, what to do? Good shot, Commander. But yeah, a tower, um... Hello, Crawler. Um, you won't get anywhere. However, yeah, a tower, um... It's kind of odd. The higher up it is, like there's low terrain, mid terrain, and high terrain, the higher up it is, the more it reveals. However, a balloon is always, like, the highest thing ever, so, yeah. I don't think you'll reach anywhere. Also, another thing about crawlers, since DeWolf was so kind to throw another one at me, um, is that they move between turns. And yeah, they're kind of kind of dangerous for that fact. But good job, I'd clap for you, but I'm not even gonna. So I could blow it up with a bomb, like DeWolf decided to. Um, but I'm not an it's it, so I'm gonna reclaim it. Um, we're familiar with the reclaim, right? It'll only do 3 damage to enemy units, but most enemy units only have 3 HP. The only thing really with, uh, five, with more than 3 HP is um, hubs and energy collectors, so yeah. That's thing to note there. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna have to get over there at some point. Um, yeah, 
what am I going to tell you? Um, so I'm going to make it up there. So flubbing it hilariously. Let's see a new scene for this. No, why? Amanda, you must concentrate. I knew that was too far, but I didn't listen to myself. Round didn't follow the heart of the cards. No way, what? Alright, let's try it again. This time with less throwing buildings at mountains. Alright, so, are you gonna... So yeah, at least they're trying to make me feel better. Okay. Let's just throw a balloon out here so we know what is all up here. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm actually kind of fortunate that that anti-air didn't suit down my balloon. Then again, it's kind of awkward how the balloons work. They kind of rise up into the sky and it's like a bit awkward. Yeah, the range of vision from the um, balloon is from where the balloon is located on the screen, not to where it is near the ground. It's kind of kind of awkward. This is a 2D game, just to note. Um, they just have like height things going on and it's a bit awkward and yeah. This round is over, Commander. Alright, so here is Duel. They are they're causing trouble. Setting down anti-airs. How dare they? That's my that's my tactic. How dare you steal it? So set an energy down on here. Oh, we can do this. Good work. Please don't die! Goddamn. Freaking mountain, why? Oh well. At least I got one on here. Um, maybe I'd fire it a little further. Eh, let's not obsess over it. Okay. So hey, do wolf, you look like you uh, desire a crawler. You you look like you desire a crawler right up your alley. So I'm gonna fill your alley with a crawler. Maybe. Would've been nice if I could have like maybe hit something. Your turn. Can yeah. I'm not sure how weak the AI is at this point, but wait, how much? They're probably like completely out of energy, so yeah. Of course that could happen. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> that wasn't actually supposed to happen, but um, here is a missile. Uh, missiles like home in on things. I'm hoping it doesn't home in on that balloon, because that'd be useless. Yay. That was kind of anticlimactic. Alright. Even though I flubbed up an energy, and I think Nice Cow cares about energy. 66 accuracy. Hit two out of three socks, man. Well, I'm not sure if they count crawlers towards accuracy. Oh well. Bye, and thank you for choosing NiceCo.